Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. In this presentation, let us show the solution to 2024 MTOP elimination round for grade 7 students. This is part 2 of 5 parts, numbers 11 to 20. Let us begin with question number 11. Simplify 9 times negative 5 plus 11 times negative 6. For our solution, we will use the order of operations. So we begin with 9 times negative 5. And then followed by 11 times negative 6. 9 times negative 5 is negative 45. And 11 times negative 6 is negative 66. Final answer is negative 111. Number 12. Simplify 10 times negative 21 over negative 77 times 5 plus 12 squared over negative of 3 squared. For our solution, we're still going to use the cancellation method. For 10 times negative 21 over negative 7 times 5, we can divide 10 and 5 by 5, so we'll get 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. Also, negative 21 and negative 7 can be divided by negative 7, so, negative 21 divided by negative 7 is 3, and negative 7 divided by negative 7 is 1. For the second part, we have 12 squared, that is 144, and negative of 3 squared, that is negative 9. Hence, we have 2 times 3 is 6, plus 144 over negative 9, that is negative 16. Therefore, our final answer is 6 plus negative 16, that is negative 10. Number 13. Between what two consecutive integers does negative of the square root of 37 lie? For our solution, notice that negative of the square root of 37 is between negative of the square root of 49 and negative of square root of 36. So negative of square root of 37 is between negative 7 and negative 6. Number 14. She has 10,000 pesos in her bank account. She withdrew 2,500 pesos deposited 5,500 pesos, and withdrew again 6,000 pesos. She decided to take half of the remaining money. How much was left in the bank? Let us follow the scenarios from the problem. Trixie begins with 10,000 pesos. Then she withdrew 2,500 pesos. Remaining will be 7,500. And after that, she deposited 5,500. So we have 7,500 plus 5,500. This will be 13,000 pesos. Then after this, she withdrew again 6,000 pesos. So that will be 13,000 pesos minus 6,000 pesos. This is equal to 7,000 pesos. And then after that, she decided to take half, to take half of the remaining money. So 7,000 pesos divided by 2, that will be 3,500 pesos. Number 15. What number is midway between negative 37 and 23? For our solution, let us get the average of negative 37 and 23, and that will be the number midway between these two. So we have negative 37 
plus 23 divided by 2. This is negative 14 divided by 2. So the answer is negative 7. Number 16. Convert to the indicated unit. 36,000 squared centimeters equals how many squared meters? For our solution, let us multiply 36,000 squared centimeters by the ratio between meters and centimeters. And we know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Let us multiply this again so we get squared meters. So that's 1 meter over 100 centimeters. Then we have 36,000 divided by 100 times 100 is 10,000. Therefore, this is equal to 36 divided by 10 or 3.6 squared meters. Number 17, convert to the indicated unit, 14,400 second equals how many hours? For our solution, let us multiply 14,400 seconds by the ratio between minute and second. So that one minute over 60 seconds cancels a second. Then, then let's convert this into hours and we know the ratio one hour is equal to 60 minutes then we have 14,400 over 3,600 or 3,600 and this is equal to 144 over 36, that is equal to 4. The answer is 4 hours. Number 18. Find the sum using the unit indicated. 47 meters plus 220 centimeters plus 318 decimeters plus 0.5 kilometers equals how many meters for our solution let us convert every term into its meter equivalent so 47 meters is 47 meters 220 centimeters is 2.2 meters 318 decimeters is 31.8 meters and 0.5 kilometers is 500 meters. So we have 500 plus 47 plus 2.2 plus 31.8. Then we have 0, carry 1, 1, and then carry 1, and then 8, and then 5. So that is 581 meters. Number 19, two squares of areas 900 squared centimeters and 49 squared decimeters. By how many centimeters does the perimeter of the larger square exceed the perimeter of the smaller square? For our suggested solution, let us start with the square whose area is 49 squared decimeters. Hence, for this square, each side is equal to 7 decimeters, and this is equal to 70 centimeters. If each side is 70 centimeters, then the perimeter is 4 times 70 centimeters, and that is 280 centimeters. Let us proceed with the 900 squared centimeters square. So if the area is 900 squared centimeters, then each side of this square is 30 centimeters long. If each side is 30 centimeters long, 
then the perimeter is 30 times 4, that is 120 centimeters. Hence, the difference between their perimeters is 280 minus 120. This is equal to 160 centimeters. Number 20. From a rope that is 7 and 1 half meters long, Zinaida cut out 20 pieces each 2 and 1 fifth decimeters long. How many meters are left in the rope? For our solution, since Zinaida cut out 20 pieces each with 2 and 1 fifth decimeters length, then let's multiply 2 and 1 fifth times 20. And this is equal to 2 times 20, that is 40, plus 1 fifth times 20, that is 4. So this is equal to 44 decimeters. 44 decimeters is equal to 4.4 .4 meters. So if we subtract 7 one half meters is 7.5 meters minus 4.4 .4 meters, that is equal to 3.1 meters or 3 and 1 tenth of a meter. That will be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for Filipino Kids videos.